Dear friends, because of the Easter holidays, there is a two-week break in the criminal proceeding against me. This gives me a chance to summarize the current status, the status quo of that proceeding. But uh, it also gives me a chance to look beyond this proceeding at a very positive development that is happening in reality, in that reality, which is the backdrop uh, to the efforts to shut me up and put me in jail. It looks like the corona pandemic, which, which actually opened my eyes and made me aware of an up until then unimaginable web of lies, is um, now unraveling um, and even officially unraveling as a pandemic. The windows of truth that are opening worldwide and, that, and the light that shines through these windows is in the process of identifying all of those who are responsible. No one will escape justice. A new article by German journalist Paul Schreier in the publication Multipolar is based on, an inten on intensive research and a number of lawsuits which were brought lawsuits which were brought under the German version of FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act. Um, and uh, it clearly shows, this article clearly shows that the German equivalent of the CDC, the RKI, which up until March 16th of 2020, based on real science, had informed the public uh, that the coronavirus was nothing but the flu, changed its tune overnight when on March 16th, a high-ranking member of the RKI who was intimately connected with the pandemic industry and its mouthpiece, the WHO, uh, in tandem with much of the rest of the Western world, of course, um, decided that there was now reason to escalate the hitherto harmless situation into a pandemic and scare the hell out of the population to test their obedience. This happened without any scientific basis, without any scientific basis. Uh, it was based purely on a political signal, signal from the pandemic industry and its mouthpiece, the WHO. Even though Paul Schreier states in that article that the name of the person who did the dirty work for the WHO in Germany is not known, it seems very clear to me that he knows precisely who it is. And so do we, by the way. This, of course, will be of huge importance, even in the German system's courts of law as they, up until now, blindly and without questioning anything that came from the RKI, took for granted that there was a dangerous novel coronavirus that was responsible for a pandemic. Now it is clear that the RKI is, co is corrupt. Um, and it looks like similar developments can be seen worldwide. I was just informed by one of the people who wrote me and gave me some information that um, Fauci in the United States seems to have admitted that there was no basis whatsoever, let alone a scientific basis, for the uh, social distancing uh, and the distances uh, prescribed for social distancing. Their house of cards is collapsing, and we as international attorneys will do our best to speed up that process and make sure that justice is done. As far as the criminal case against me is concerned, it is very simple. The prosecution's main witnesses, the eerily strange attorney, Mr. Hoffman, and my former co-host, Vivian Fisher, uh, whose performance in court rivaled that of Mr. Hoffman, have been questioned. Uh, they gave their testimony. Mr. Hoffman came across as a highly aggressive Mm, uncontrolled person um, whose inexplicable and also unexplained uh, hatred for me, Viviana Fisher, and actually the entire world, um, he had to admit that there was absolutely no basis for 
any of the massive accusations of me having threatened him in numerous weird ways, among others with a Winchester rifle (laughs) or by um, radicalizing the members of the political party whose co-chairman I was for a while. One of the more bizarre accusations he made was that he felt threatened by me because of his quote-unquote ethnic background. When we asked him what this meant, he stated that he was an Ashkenazi Jew. Um, Well, if that is true, and I don't know that it is, uh, it would have been, even if I had known about it, it would have been totally irrelevant to me. Um, The only reason I had shown him, indeed, my my utter disrespect for him that I even despised him is that I learned that he was both professionally and on a personal level (laughs) simply an idiot. Vivian Fisher confirmed that neither Mr. Hoffman nor um, Antonia Fisher, whom we had included in the Corona Investigative Committee as substitutes for two scientists, played any role in the work of the Corona Investigative Committee and were only interested in the donations. Uh, We found it rather bizarre, however, that Vivian Fisher seems to still be willing to cooperate with these people, despite the fact that these two and their dubious partner, um, through fraud and extortion, had gotten their hands on roughly 1.5 million euros of my and my client's money, despite the fact that these people, uh, with the help of the district attorney, are now trying to get their hands on all of the Corona Committee's donations only to shut its work down. Very strange. Despite the fact that the evidence is mounting that the district attorney is guilty of obstruction of justice, and this is a crime, not just a misdemeanor, I don't believe that the court is under control of whoever is behind this proceeding, but we'll see. Uh, Very helpful, in fact, crucial for my case is that Vivian Fisher also confirmed that we took We took out the loans in order to secure some of the donations from the states attaching our bank account, that there was an imminent and rising risk of this happening, and that, of course, we were both willing and able to repay the loans. This means that the DA's case is dead in the water. In fact, had we not done anything to protect the money from uh, willful attachment by the state, we would have been guilty of uh, a violation of our fiduciary duty to take care of the donations. For the court and for those who are interested, we will file a detailed assessment of Vivian Fisher's and Mr. Hoffman's at least partially bizarre testimony in court. Meanwhile, here in Germany, an even stranger show is unfolding right before our eyes on mainstream television. Anyone who uh, dares argue for peace in Ukraine is almost hysterically, by those who call themselves uh, politicians and journalists, hysterically being accused of helping Putin um, to uh, win the war. They demand... Uh, in all seriousness, that Germany uh, supply as much money and as many weapons to Ukraine as possible. For what purpose? Well, obviously, for killing as many people as possible. Very, very strange. Thank you for your letters and the sometimes very personal messages. By the way, no one except, except me reads them. The envelopes are closed when they come to me. They are only destroyed after we open them and I get the letters. I'm very much looking forward to getting, my, um, getting back together with my wife, our dogs, my family, and friends, and to continue with, the, uh, with our work with the International Group of Attorneys, with the help of all of you, of course. There will be justice. There is no other way for humanity to survive. Uh, Here are a few more of my favorite songs. One is Lindsey Buckingham, formerly of Fleetwood Mac. His song is Trouble, great song. David Bowie, Heroes, and China Girl. Christopher Cross, Ride Like the Wind, and Elton John, I'm Still Standing. See you all soon.